or LAC, also known as Vietnam, supports Japanese citizens affected by flooding. Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Pham Sao Mai, presented a donation of 100,000 US dollars to Japan's ambassador to OLAC, Vietnam, His Excellency Umeda Kunio, to help the victims of flooding and landslides in Japan, especially in the areas of Hiroshima, Kyoto, Okayama, and Ehime. Ambassador Kunio conveyed his appreciation to OLAC, Vietnam, for supporting Japan at this difficult time and promised to transfer the funds to those in need as soon as possible. Our hearts are touched, OLAC, Vietnam, by your concern for brethren in their time of need. May the gentle citizens of Japan recover quickly and resume normal lives once again in heaven's blessing. Myanmar holds peace conference. Myanmar's 21st century Panglong Peace Conference was held in the capital city of Naypyidaw. Fourteen more basic principles were agreed to and signed by leaders of ethnic groups, political parties, the military, parliament, and government. These add to the 37 agreements decided upon at an earlier session. The new agreements were reached in areas including democracy, the economy, and social, land, and environmental concerns with the goal of creating a democratic federal union through dialogue. State Councilor Her Excellency Aung San Suu Kyi stated that the signing of this part two of the agreements was a positive sign signaling the peace conference was progressing forwards. Our earnest congratulations, Myanmar, on your productive peace summit. May your goal of becoming a harmonious democratic federal union be quickly realized in the grace of the providence. 19-year-old professional French soccer player donates to help children. Kylian Mbappé, who has been called the best young soccer player in the world, donated 500,000 US dollars to the charity Premier de Cordé, which helps to organize sporting events for children living with disabilities. General manager of Premier de Cordé, Sébastien Ruffin, in speaking of Kilian, said, He has a very good relationship with children. He always finds the right words to encourage them. I sometimes even feel that he takes more pleasure to play with the kids than the kids themselves. Such noble actions, Kylian Mbappé. A big embrace for you on sharing your positive spirit and love with the gentle children. May your future be filled with much success, love and more benevolent deeds. Increasing number of Nordic citizens choosing vegan options. A survey by Ernst & Young, a multinational firm headquartered in London, United Kingdom, reported that 24% of Nordics surveyed envisioned decreasing their meat intake in the next five years and 34% said they can imagine increasing their consumption of vegetarian food. Furthermore, Swedish youth barometer and analysis firm concluded that 30% of young Swedes are already consuming more plant-based foods than previously. These trends are included in the solutions menu developed by the Nordic Council of Ministers, the official entity for interparliamentary cooperation among the Nordic countries to offer food policy solutions. Elizabeth Skylar, senior advisor at the Nordic Council of Ministers, stated, We used to talk about energy, but now we also need to talk about our foods. Otherwise, we will never meet the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. There is a shift in the global agenda for food being added to the climate menu in the new way. The solution manual will be presented at the 24th United Nations Climate Summit, COP24, to take place in Katowice, Poland, in December. Great news, Nordic countries. Our gratitude, Nordic Council of Ministers, for your commitment to presenting sustainable solutions. May a global shift to the vegan diet be embraced by all dedicated to protecting our precious home planet. New opportunities for women in Morocco. Under a decree signed earlier this year, women are now allowed to serve in various legal capacities in Sharia courts. The positions include documenting witness testimony in courts, as well as handling family law and real estate transactions. Morocco's king, His Majesty Mohammed VI, 
issued the decree as part of a gender equity reform. As a result, women could take the admission test to become public notaries, and 299 women, accounting for 38% of candidates, have passed it. This is a wonderful development. Our respectful thanks, Your Majesty King Mohammed VI and Morocco. Your country is sure to advance in prosperity and harmony as you tap into the awesome talents of your intelligent women citizens. Kind-hearted Saudi men help children around the world. Saudi Arabian philanthropist Ali Al Gamdi supports 7,000 orphans and 2,000 families in countries including Egypt, Ethiopia, Sudan, Kenya, Comoros, Chad, Niger, and Uganda. In an interview with Arab media Al Hayat, Mr. Al Gamdi explained that he became motivated to begin his charitable mission when, at a young age, he witnessed the plights of disadvantaged people. Beginning with selfless work at age 17, Mr. Al Gamdi supplies the funds required to ensure the beneficiaries are able to achieve their educational goals. The father of four, who enjoys the full support of his wife, lives frugally, taking out bank loans when necessary to finance his altruistic endeavors. These days, success stories such as Dr. Abdul Shakur must surely bring happiness to the selfless humanitarian. Dr. Shakur was supported by Mr. Al Gamdi as a Ugandan orphan and is now a medical doctor serving his home community. Wow, Ali Al Gamdi, we are so moved with admiration by your compassion and love in action. May Allah's bountiful blessings be evermore with you and your loved ones, as well as those you so magnanimously assist. Supreme Master Ching Hai confers the Shining World Compassion Award and 30,000 US dollars to Ali Al Gamdi to support his noble work with all love and gratitude in God's grace. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for his compassion and love towards his precious children. Peru protects her dry forests. A supreme decree in Peru has declared the creation of the regional conservation area of seasonally dry tropical forests of the Marañón in the northern part of the country signed by Peruvian President His Excellency Martin Vizcarra Cornejo and Minister of the Environment Her Excellency Fabiola Muñoz Dodero. The decree protects 13,929 hectares, which is home to 200 endemic species. The new ruling should prevent projects that would alter the area, such as the building of dams. Environmental authorities have highlighted that access to the new area will still be allowed, with many families currently cultivating coffee, cacao and fruit. Also, tourism and partnerships with community groups will continue to be developed. Our deep appreciation, Peru, for taking steps to preserve your irreplaceable dry forests. May your beautiful land flourish for eternity in heaven's love.